Hey everybody, Boss here. Uh, I'm a child of the 80s, uh, graduated, high, graduated high school in the early uh, 1980s. Uh, I remember when Pac-Man first came out, uh, I worked at a, a grocery store and right next door to the grocery store was a laundromat and the laundromat they had a Pac-Man machine and I was over there for hours and hours and hours playing Pac-Man. So uh, when I was younger I definitely had picked up a copy of uh, the Pac-Man Fever album uh, by Buckner and Garcia. Um, over the years that album has become lost but recently I was able to pick up a 1980, I think this came out in 81? 1982. Uh, it came out in 1982 and this is not every issue. Uh, this is an original 1982 uh, copy of Pac-Man Fever, Buckner Garcia. It is still sealed, nice and still sealed. I just got this in the mail. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, I'm a little bit kind of hesitant to even open it. Uh, the whole reason to get this was so I can play it. But it's um, it's um, sealed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, after all these years, 1982, it's uh, December 2017. How many years is that? It's a lot of years. Let's put it that way. So, um, but yeah, I, I do want to play this. Uh, I do want to open it. Um, so, um, here it goes. Alright, so here is the album uh, Pac-Man Fever. It is uh, uh, sitting here. Um, I'm still reluctant to open it after all these years. It's brand new. It is sealed. But of course, I want to play this. Um, I don't keep final records in my collection that I don't play. So um, I am definitely going to open this, and uh, here I go. Okay, so I have uh, opened this up. I've been very careful and uh, to leave the uh, cellophane and the hype sticker uh, on the actual um, record. And uh, it has came with this awesome. Uh, sleeve. This has actually um, uh, patterns to uh, Pac-Man to, to, to the game Pac-Man. For those of you who uh, would like some patterns, there you go. You can pause the video and take a look. And of course, the beautiful, uh, brand new uh, piece of vinyl. It's never been played before. It's been sealed up in this um, in this case since 1982. But regardless of that, um, this is. Uh, the Pac-Man Fever album by Buckner and Garcia. I just got this in the mail. So along with the uh, Pac-Man Fever album uh, that I have, I also have uh, some seven-inch uh, records here uh, that that are um, uh, related to uh, Buckner and Garcia, Pac-Man Fever. So I'm going to go ahead and share these with you as well. This, so this here is the uh, independent release of uh, Pac-Man Fever on the BGO label. Uh, this is a little bit harder to come by, uh, 45. This is before uh, Columbia uh, picked up the song and uh, released it nationally. So this is the, the, the independent uh, BGO release of Pac-Man Fever. And of course I have the standard uh, Columbia release here, uh, Pac-Man Fever. On the back side is uh, the instrumental version. Uh, this was released with a picture sleeve in the, in the United States. Unfortunately, I don't have the picture sleeve. I also have the uh, promo uh, U.S. release of uh, Pac-Man Fever uh, on the Columbia label. Uh, the back side is also uh, the instrumental version. Okay, so this is the uh, Italian release of uh, Pac-Man Fever. Um, I'll show you the record in a second. Uh, here's what the cover looks like. Now, I specifically went out of my way to, 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 to buy this um, Italian release because on the flip side of the 45, it has uh, Frogger's Lament. I wanted to get Frogger's Lament on a 45, and this is one of the ways I figured out how to do it. Um, in, the, in the United States, the reissue, uh, Pac-Man Fever, had... Um, uh, we do the Donkey Kong on the B side, but I don't know if this is. I think this is the the actual uh, uh, original release 
uh, in Italy and instead of having uh, the instrumental version of uh, Pac-Man Fever, it did have um, Froggy's Lament. And here is what the 45 looks like. Uh, very typical. I'm not sure if I can get the camera close enough to see. Uh, most uh, records in Italy, 45s anyways, has this, you see this blue stamp here? This little stamp, one on a stand, that's a stamp uh, uh, for taxation for the government or something with the government taxing or uh, giving the dues uh, from this record. Uh, and of course, on the uh, flip side is the Frogger's Lament. Okay, so here's another uh, phone little release of Pac-Man Fever uh, on the Starstruck uh, uh, la a label, also released in 1982. But this one was by uh, Edgel Groves. This is actually a cover of Pac-Man Fever. Uh, it is a country uh, version of the record. I'm not sure if this is already up on YouTube. Um, I do put records from time to time uh, uh, up on YouTube, especially uh, obscure ones. Uh, so I may go ahead and later on today or tomorrow, I'll go ahead and, uh, and uh, uh, put this up, up put, put this up on YouTube. Okay, and uh, last but not least, we have this uh, Waffle record. I, I believe this was released in the early 90s. Uh, and uh, these records were put in the jukeboxes in the Waffle House restaurants. Uh, but if you know at the bottom here, if you look at the name, it says Gary Garcia. So this uh, is a, a record. It has both uh, Jerry Buckner and Gary Garcia's name on it on this 45. You know, you know uh, Buckner and Garcia. So I thought, you know, it's just an interesting little little tidbit. Um, uh, Gary, uh, Gary Garcia did, did not appear on a, on a whole lot of these uh, Waffle House records, uh, 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 Gary Garcia. But here's the flip side, also produced by Jerry Buckner, like the other side, but this side has uh, Walter Carter Jr. as a singer. So uh, even though Jerry Buckner he did produce a lot of these records for Waffle House. Uh, Gary Garcia only appeared, only appeared on, a, on a few of them. So, um, but uh, that's, that's all I have. Um, be sure to um, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.